that's really exciting to see Mi Ying, the Dark Panda, it's going to be let through. So actually, the main source of uh, healing from Yan's Lot has been banned out there. Miles puts some damage into that Vanessa and Evel. Skill 1 into Miles. Fails to sleep. Miang. Skill 1 wow. into... <laughs> Vanessa's gone. Vanessa's oh my scared. goodness. Is this a Miang almost solo? I feel like the other units are from Yan's Lot side of the field. There we go. Annabelle lands the defense break, gets a counter, but doesn't take that much damage. Skill one into the panda. The panda gets the sleep. Annabelle, one more time. Would you go skill one? Oh, it goes for the heal with the skill two. Shiana, skill one available. Goes. Oh, deals some serious oh damage into that panda. Wow, the turnaround from these matches. The right skills at the right time. Carrying Livert right now. Oh my god, the Annabelle gets the sleep again on the Miang. This Miang is not doing much. Always asleep or slurred or defense broken. Goes into Triana, deals some serious damage. Goes. Oh, oh my. Is that that Triana? <laughs> oh. This is Lots such an words. incredible back and forth match because Mi Ying, he manages to leech health via his passive as well. He has such a loaded passive and I think that Mi Ying is going to take this win now. What on earth am I witnessing? I'm confused. I don't know who's going to take this match because it's going back and forth so many times. But Mi Ying goes into Annabelle, takes out the Annabelle, gets the win! Yes, a lot gets the advantage 1-0. It is the best out of three. GG's. Villipidi Raxas, best out of five. Who will take that first set on three of the four enemy units? No long. Dragons dance. Onto Raxas's team. Additional turn from that Merlong from Villipidi's side. This is incredible. We've actually seen a lot of violent rather than vampire Molongs today. And that proc was a huge moment for Philippity. And oh, two units have been deleted. I think it's all over. The Shizuka and the Varad. Then the Varad's absolute zero would not have been available. I do think Varad has had a huge impact on this match despite not being alive anymore because Shizuka has been able to use Varad's skills anyway. So instead, if he'd chosen just to take out those two units, I don't think the Dominant and Praha would necessarily have had quite the same solo potential as the Shizuka has been able and Praha combo has been able to bring for access. Shizuka has shown what an absolutely incredible unit she is today. Here we go, Dominic comes out to play and takes out that Miles. What a comeback from Raxas, taking that first point from Villipidi. This is a best out of five, Raxas 1-0. Both players taking a few seconds to lock in their bands. I wonder if he feels the Kano or the Rika more. Both are good bands, but this Nasha is going to probably cut in between Raxas's team. Gets that first turn on Raxas's side. Goes for this Dragon's Dance. Manages to strip the Nasha and the Wusa, but fails to stun any of them. Chung Pung goes for the strip lands. The defense break on the Wusa. Oh, Oliver, Mega Impulse Gun onto the Wusa, pushing back attack by a little bit. This is incredibly unfortunate for Raxas. He's failed the strip on the Rika twice now. Melong didn't strip, Chung Pung didn't strip, so he's gonna just have to take out the Rika just like that. And now Chung Pung is gonna use serious matter, and the game is looking very heavily in favor of him. He was facing another player that is going to be aggressive. But to be honest, if I were Villipity, I would fight fire with fire. He's chosen to fight fire with, I mean, I don't know, not, <laughs> not fire, <laughs> fire with wood. I feel like if Yenzelot bans out the Wunsa, then that he is in a really good position because Glorious is really lacking in strippers right now. Yenzelot has plenty of them. I believe it was the HP lead on Yenzelot's side peaked. Esha takes first turn, Juna follows up, goes for the strip, manages to strip one of the unit, which is the Shan. Cigar follows up, provokes the Shizuka, the Shan, stuns the Shan, Masha misses a turn due to a stun. Yanzalot, oh, doing some serious work right now into Glory System. Shizuka about to take a turn. Will she revive a unit or will she do? Yep, revives the Sierra. Sierra with the bomb. Goes on to the Carnal Sierras out of this match. Masha. Takes out the Juno. Oh, 
Chan with the score. Where will he direct his damage? He goes into Cigar. Almost taking that Cigar out. Gets an additional turn. Wow, that's huge plays right there. Well, that was a huge comeback from Gl Glorious. Oh my goodness. You know what? Never say never when Masha and Shan are still on the floor because they are so impactful. Masha brings, well, both of these units bring so much damage and the ability to come back, as you have seen. Jens Lot had the control, he had the turns, but he had nowhere near the amount of damage as that Glorious is able to bring. He wasn't able to take out Glorious's units in the time that he had available. And unfortunately, Glor for Jens Lot, Glorious has made a huge huge comeback from Shen versus Isma it is a match point for Isma they both go with the HP leader skill Shizuka putting a soul Take on to the Praha. Masha dealing some serious damage into the Juno. Juno revenges, gets some attack, but twice! She revenges twice, managing to survive from that defense break and healing herself a little bit. This is why revenge runes are so important on Juno. I didn't mention earlier, of course, this Fang Yang pickup. New didn't actually show his Fang Yang too much today. In the end, it's Ismo that's shown the Fang Yang. And Fang Yang is good hit into Arsenal because rise that defense break, he rise that fixed damage scaling with defense. Though he is striven on every single counter attack, is it gonna be enough to put pressure on Isma? But Isma in a comfortable position with all of his four units with huge buffs. Here we go, Shen quits the match. Isma takes the win with a 3-1 and moves on to the...